What's going on everyone? My name is Jeff. So the other night I published this video, the three stocks to short for May 2019. And I brought up the question of what exactly happens when you short a stock through an ex-dividend date. Now right off the bat guys, there is ways you can avoid this and put yourself in a situation to short stocks and you'll never have to worry about the ex-dividend date and that is simply by buying put options, okay? But a lot of times I do like to short stocks and sometimes those companies do pay dividends. So in this video guys, I'm just going to do a quick explanation of what exactly happens when you short a company through an ex-dividend date and why it's always important before you ever short a stock to be conscientious of a company's ex-dividend date. So guys, do me a favor, drop a thumbs up on this video. As always, I appreciate all the support and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already so you don't miss any future content or update videos. So first things first, I'm going to give you the textbook explanation. You know, the theoretical reason why you should never short stocks through the ex-dividend date. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick an example and we'll kind of walk through it. You know, so this kind of makes some sense to you, okay? But basically, guys, if you were to short a stock on a record date or an ex-dividend date, he or she is not entitled to the dividend. In fact, he is responsible for paying the dividend to the lender of the stock. So keep in mind, when you're shorting stocks, you're not buying it, you are actually considered the seller. And you're borrowing the stock from a broker or another shareholder. So if you short the stock one day before the ex-dividend date, at that point, the broker will subtract the dividend payment from your portfolio balance. And that will act as the dividend payment to the actual shareholder, okay? This is something I got caught on a few times years ago when I was really new to shorting stocks. I would sometimes short companies that had an upcoming ex-dividend date and be completely unaware of it. And then I noticed small payments coming out of my account. This was something that happened one or two times and I ended up investigating it, finding out why it happened. And really, I just made this video to save you all any trouble so now let's go through a simulation short sale and I will explain to you exactly what is going to happen. Today is May 3rd, okay? So I want you to keep in mind, I'm going to be acting as if I'm shorting this stock today on May 3rd. Now keep in mind, this is just for educational purposes. I have absolutely no reason to go short on Starbucks, but I'm going to short 10 shares of Starbucks at $78.33. So I am shorting $783.30 of Starbucks stock on May 3rd, 2019. Now right here guys, I want you to pay attention. We shorted the stock on May 3rd, but they have an ex-dividend date on May 8th, 2019. And for every one share of Starbucks that I'm holding short, I have to pay back 36 cents and all of your information is sitting right here, okay? And so I end up covering on my trade on May 10th, and I cover at $76.25. So I execute this trade, and I walk away with a $20.80 payment. That is the amount of money I made from shorting Starbucks stock. Now right up here, guys, where I'm moving my mouse, that is the payment date, okay? So my broker is going to go into my account and they're going to take $3.60 and pay it out on the payment date because I shorted Starbucks through the ex-dividend date. And I hope you see where I'm getting the $3.60 is that I had 10 shares on the ex-dividend date and they pay out $0.36 cents per share. Now you have to take the $20.80 I made on the trade and subtract the $3.60 that the broker took out of my account to pay on the ex-dividend date, and now I've only made $17.20. So basically guys, it just cuts into any kind of gain you made, and obviously you don't want random fees and penalties coming out of your portfolio. So that's pretty much all there is to it guys. Anytime you're gonna go to short a stock, use a dividend calendar and find out when that particular company is having their ex-dividend date, and then you might possibly wanna wait off till after the ex-dividend date or consider 
just playing put options instead. In my opinion, when I get in a situation like this, I'd usually just go and buy put options. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Like I said, it's another small tip to try to keep as much money and as much of your gains in your portfolio as possible. Drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. And guys, as always, thank you for watching.